Hello, Paul in Salt Lake City, Utah. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. Call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm going to have you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and I'm going to bring that loving, back to, loving feeling back to glasses when I take pride in saying I'm introducing a new collection to the website. Now, having said that, it's not on the website yet, but uh, this is the Danny Goki. He was a singer on American Idol who did very well, and he does Christian music now and he was known for his funky glasses and curly hair when he was on American Idol and now he has his own line of glasses this is the oh what model is this it is the model number 47 I should have written that down hang on number 47 of course this is size 53 and blue let me grab my it is very blue with silver of course, you know me, I'll buy anything in blue, and I'll show you more of those frames, and they come in some really nice blue ones, but but uh, I wanted to support Danny Goki. I hear he's a really good guy, and I just wanted to bring something different, reach out to a different audience that I had been doing, and so we're going to start with the Danny Goki 47. I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses. Let me put that into the case. I'm going to put the frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Oh, but first I got to trace your Secret Agent 1575. So I'm going to hit start. And the little stylus is going to pop up and go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy genuine authentic Danny Goki frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now the reason why I entered that barcode 1575 1575 so years from now should Paul ever need new lenses for this frame I can mail them right to his home or if he ever wants to turn these into sunglasses reading glasses computer glasses anything I can send the lenses to his home just by pulling the shape up I'll have all the other measurements that I need so I'm going to begin by entering the pupillary distance which is 31 for the right eye the computer starts at 32.5 so I'm going to do 31 I'm going to raise the optical center up for the invisible bifocal to 20. And these are progressive lens, so I'm changing the layout chart. So Paul reached out to me and asked if I would pick up this collection. And actually the sales rep in my area was someone I went to school with and actually gave me one of my very first managers in the, when I started in my career is the sales rep for this line. So I said I'd be glad to, glad to carry this for you. So he's the first one. I had to buy about 20 pieces to get him this one, but hey, happy to do it. Happy to support a friend. Happy to support Danny Goki. Happy to support anyone else out there who likes Danny Goki. But let's go ahead and take the right lens. We're going to place this onto the platform. Now, all invisible bifocals have two little laser engravings. I put at, oops, let me close that. It has, see a doc? It has two little circles on each side of the lens. I put a dot on those and line up over there then it tells me where to place the optical center right there at that cross ironically a cross is where the eye goes and we're going to get to that a little bit later i'm going to show you a new project i'm working on but i'm going to place that onto the platform i need two blocks of which i of which i like to call jenny from the block so i'm going to attach two double-sided adhesive stickers on here of which i've got a couple right here i'm going to pull these off now the black side is the sticky side I'm going to stick this onto the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. I'm going to pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. On the back is a silver button that is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. I know I've got ink on my hands. I'll, I'll wash that off. But uh, the reason why I have those dots on there, this is going to go exactly where the pupil sits. And these other two dots tells me that the lens is oriented in there just perfectly. The blue cross, again it's a cross, is the geometric center of your frame. This orange cross is where it's going to go directly over your pupil. We're going to be covering a lot of crosses tonight. Just want to make sure the lens is large enough, and it is. Hit that button, the arm's going to come down place a block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right, <laughs> which will be played by the left lens tonight. 
pull the paper away to make the black side sticky, line up the magnet, get that extra little bit of cleaner off there. Pupillary distance for the left eye, 28.5, so we're going to come down from 32. Was I at 32? Oh, let's redo it. That should have been 31. Hang on. 31. We're going back to 1. I'm glad I caught that. Take that off. We put that on there. Let's go back to the right lens. 3120. 3120. Here I was talking and not paying attention. I'm glad I caught that. I'm only human. I don't walk on water. Unless it's frozen. I don't like to walk on it then. I'm afraid I'm going to fall in. Pull the block on there. Pupillary distance for the left eye, 28.5. So we're going to come down from 31 to 28. Oops. 28.5. Same optical center height of 20. Get everything lined up exactly where it's supposed to be. Hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place a block onto the left lens. Now this is the edger. This is what's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. It costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter. Then you can cut your own lenses at home for your Danny Goki frames. You won't need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. The cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel. That's what's going to grind away your lens material from this size down to this size. Now this wheel in the center that has that channel, that little valley, is going to put the V-shaped bevel on the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. So now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Free bad jokes with every pair of glasses made. So I want to wake up the computer. This is job number 1575. 1575. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that, but we're going to stick with polycarbonate. I'm going to touch the screen to remove the polishing feature because there's no need to polish the lens and whoop, in this frame, in this frame, and I'm only going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. I'm going to hit start. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the right lens. And the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel for the least amount of edge thickness. Of which, Paul, you won't have any in this frame with this prescription. Now the cutting wheel is starting up. The lens is about to drop down onto the cutting wheel. The light you, or the water you see flickering in the background is there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens during the cutting cycle. Unlike plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex lenses, those cut wet with water spraying on them the whole time. Now, water will spray onto this lens, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris. But your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which are 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're also virtually unbreakable. These are high-impact ballistics grade lenses. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that you have to reapply every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in Salt Lake City. Now you did get the Crizal anti-glare coating. Crizal is three features in one. The first feature is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. But street lights, stop lights, oncoming headlights, all of that. It's also an anti-reflection coating, meaning that it reduces reflections. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in their glasses, so it makes for much better eye contact. And of course, if uh, you take a selfie, which I want a selfie request, Paul, if you take a selfie, you're less likely to see the reflection of the camera in your lens. Now, one of the things I'm going to start doing, I'm getting all religious in this video. I'm going to share with you some of my religious and political views, things I was told never bring up in conversation, religion and politics, because you don't know who you're going to offend, but I'm just putting it out there. This last uh, year and a half has been a spiritual journey for me as I've gone out on my own. I've left my former partner 
and there has been days where it has been very difficult. I questioned my future. I questioned a lot of things. I used faith to bring me along in my darkest moments. You know, it's it's good that I found it. It's you know, I'm sorry that it took me that. You you know, everyone wants to be on top of the mountain, but you find out who you are when you're down in the valley. And you know that old saying, "I was not alone. I had great support from uh, friends and family, and of course, my loving wife Carol, who I owe you know everything to, who keeps me grounded." And then, you know, there's a higher power, too, that has helped me. And I'm going to... Let's go ahead and get this lens mounted. I can keep talking as I work. I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner, push down. And actually, I want to take this lens down a little bit more. And that's also going to buy me some time. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm stalling you. So, but... I have this cross. And I'm going to drill holes in this cross. There is a wooden... So today is... Thursday, April 25th. We just had Easter this past Sunday, and there was this large wooden cross at church. And I have a frame that looks like it's made out of wood. And so I'm going to drill holes in this frame, drill holes in the cross, and attach that to this frame. And, you know, maybe someone's interested, maybe they're not. But it's just something I wanted to do. It's how I express myself. And in a way, to others, you can, you hear you wear your faith on your sleeve. Now you can wear it on your glasses. So when I drill holes on there, I'm going to bolt it onto this side. And through the bolts, those nine inch nails, I'm going to take some red fingernail polish and put a dab on each one and one in the center so that, uh, sorry, I'm getting emotional again. It's, you know, it represents the, the blood on the cross. And uh, I hope it brings as much meaning to others as it has to me. And it's just something I want to try. That's all. Like I said, people may turn the other cheek or I may be embraced. I'll never know till I try. But you will see these on the websites. I'll have to come up for a name for them. Um, I don't know what it is just yet. I can't call it cross-eyed. <laughs> you know, but... Uh, Oh, it's good to laugh. When the clown laughs, it's a good day at work. But anyone out there watching, what would you help me with this? What would you call a frame that has a cross on the side? You know, some catchy name, a brand, if you will. So that I can, because I need a brand. When you click on the website, I have to have different brands. You know, the eyes of the Lord. I'm looking for biblical quotes about eyes. And uh, the eyes of the Lord are always upon us, commanding us to do the right thing. And, uh, you know, it's just, help me come up with a name. What would you call it if there was a cross on a pair of glasses? So, tuck it in the outside corner. Now it snaps in easily so that years from now he'll be able to pop these out and put in new lenses should he want to. Flip that over to L. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. Or as I like to call it tonight, the Paul, the Paul in order in honor of Paul. I can't talk. I'm all choked up. The cat's got my tongue. The goat has my ears. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. So just like before the door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing the left side of the frame. And actually, I'm going to show you guys something else. I'll be right back. Ding, I'm back. Now, I will also put these on my website. Now, these are non-prescription for starters. I probably can do single vision. I don't think I can do a bifocal, which I'm doing now, the invisible bifocal. But I will have this. This is a drill mount frame where I literally drill holes in the lens to mount it. And these will be available both in clear and as sunglasses. You will have several different colors of frame. Gold, silver, black, purple, red, and blue to choose from. These are not cheap. It took me a year to find a lab who would make these for me. Um, but I want to put these out there. I'm going to have these. I've talked to my web designer. I have to find out. I'm going to have to have a section for non-prescription glasses. And again, I can try and make these prescription. We'll have to see. But if anyone wants a pair, I'm going to come up with the price. I'm hoping to be able to do these for about $299 complete with prescription 
you know, or non-prescription, the lab has to go through the same procedure. If it's a prescription lens or non-prescription lens to make these. And that's just one more of the things I'm, I'm going to be offering. I'm expanding, I'm growing in many ways, spiritually, physically, emotionally. And let's come down here. We're going to read the prescription plus 50 minus a quarter at 95. I'm glad I told you about those dots because now they washed off. I have to come back here and put some more dots on the lens. Guys, don't look at that. That's someone else's glasses. That's one I'm doing for charity. When you buy two pair of glasses for me, I donate one to charity. That is a donation. Spin the axis wheel to 95. And I read the power, which is plus 50. Plus 50, exactly halfway between 0 and 1 in the black. You have one step of astigmatism correction. Check that. And we're at plus a quarter. We started off at plus. So you're farsighted. You need two steps of distance correction. And then you need one step of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters P and F. So this number gets everything in the correct size. The spherical component of your prescription. The astigmatic, your astigmatism, makes everything crisp. And we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 95, a straight line. 0 to 90 to 180. We're going to turn that fine tune knob to about 95 to make everything nice and crisp. Now your left eye, you only need, and we get plus 25 because you start off with plus 50, you subtract 25. Even I can do that math. You end up at plus 25 in the black. No minuses here. Now your left eye, you need two steps of farsighted correction. Now you also need an additional, this is the invisible bifocal. It's called the add because it means in addition to what's up top. So you need two steps to see far away and another nine steps to see close up. So if you were to add these together for reading glasses, you would need a plus 275. Now about half that for computer distance, I would actually do about 175, 150 to 175 to be able to see far away. The higher the number, the closer you can bring it in. A jeweler's loop is a plus 10, but they're literally, if this is your eye, they're looking at the stone right here. They're not holding it out here where my hands are now. They're bringing it all the way in to look up close. The higher the, the plus number, the closer you have to hold it. That's why a plus 150 to 175 would work out here, a 275 right here. So let's see if the left fits. Dry everything off. Come down here. Tuck the left lens in. Far side, press down. That snaps in there. And before I forget, use my hand approved drying method. Place the sticker on my sticker collection. I want to write on here that I took it down a tenth of a millimeter on both sides to make everything nice and crisp. And of course, now I've got to put those dots again. Up, 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 up. I'm head over heels about my wife, about my life, and about everything that's to come. The hardest thing about taking on any project is to trust the process. I'm going to make sure this is a plus 50. We all want results. We all want them quickly, but we have to let, you know, God's plan happen to us. It will happen. It doesn't happen when we want it, but it will happen. You just have to learn to trust the process. Plus 50. Pupillary distance is 31. 28.5 for the left eye. I'm not going to math wrong. 31 for the right eye plus 28.5 for the left. 59.5. That's what I would have come up with. If you gave me about 59 and a half fingers and toes to count on, that is. So, I'm going to place the PD stick against my thumb on the right lens. When we get to the left lens, we're getting 59.5. So that's cut perfectly. I want to check the height of the invisible bifocal. That looks good. And this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned. Look, I found a place for the tissues. They had been over here on top and then they were getting getting dust in the transitions box i moved them over here over there over here and over here i now decide i'm going to put them under my transitions box i just had to put a second box back there for the thickness of this platform to sit on and that's where they're going to be now hey how about that everything's right here it only took me a year to figure that out 
And again, you just got to trust the process. We want the results, but all things come to us in time. Good things come to those who wait. But this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that the, these glasses are tax-free and includes free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And the reason why they're tax-free is not because you buy these on the Internet, but because the state of North Carolina, I'm in North Carolina, this is considered a medical device as well as fashion. But, well, they tax fashion, but they don't tax medical devices. So that's why anywhere you buy glasses online now, they're going to charge you tax. But not from me and of course you get free shipping to anywhere in the u.s and its territories and to uh, the military bases overseas but this is free to salt lake city utah because salt lake is still in the u.s but i'm a, but when you get these in the mail paul there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight however there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other and because of that statistic 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them but i'm gonna get them in standard alignment first also known as a three-point stance the three points are one two and the bottom of the frame being three i set them on the counter and press down there is no wobble when i say wobble i'm part of that 80 percent when i take mine off and press down they wobble on the counter but they sit level on me i'm wearing the ray-ban 2132 <coughs> excuse me color 6053 which is the blue crystal because I wear a lot of blue shirts with uh, print and that blue crystal matches my shirt I'm all about some blue love these blue ones but let me flip these over press down there is no wobble close each temple to make sure that the temples overlap perfectly and they do that neither temple is askew check the tension on each spring hinge that is uniform if one was looser or one was tighter I would adjust it so it was matching the other but these are, let me show you some more from the Danny Goki. That is spelled G-O-K-E. Just so you guys can see that. Danny Goki, G-O-K-E-Y. And of course, they have some classic styling, which is very popular now. It's got his initials DG on the side. It's got a wood grain temple tip on this one. Kind of cool, almost steampunk looking. We got the blue and silver with the blue tortoise temples. We could move over here because the light's a little bit better over here. Hopefully you can see that blue tortoise. But same frame with the, the gray and the silver with black temples. Another round frame. Round is strong this year. Guys, I know I've been in my Wayfarers for so long, but I'm about to get some round. This one has really cool hinges. Check that out for anyone rough on glasses. These expand all the way out. Classic uh, black and gold with the tortoise temple tips. Oh, yes, the blue. Look how iridescent blue that is. Blue and black and blue on the side. And again, I'm slowly getting pictures of these, and I'll have these on the website. Plastic frame, almost horn color, the gradient colors with the black temples. Got some color, too, red and blue with a wood grain. This, this wood grain is very popular now. A lot of frame companies are doing that. And, of course, another plastic frame, the round P3 classic shape. Unique texture, again, that almost wood grain, but it's a tortoise with blue with a textured finish on both the front and the temples. We have a blue semi-rimless with uh, the wood, again, on the sides, blue and wood, and a semi-rimless, meaning there's only half a frame. Full metal frame, blue with silver. And we also have black with uh, the gray. Do I have the other version of this? It's close. No, it's, this is a little bit more narrow. And, of course, got the DG. Great finish, great texture on these. So, that's that. So, if you've seen a Danny Goki frame somewhere and you'd like me to order it for you, that's what Paul did. I'll be more than happy to. If I don't have it here, say you want this one in another color, I'll be able to do that for you. All the frames, all the Danny Goki frames are 160 Normally they cost a lot more, but I'm not doing a usual markup on there. I want to keep the price as low as possible for anyone out there who wants a great quality frame for an inexpensive price who wants to support Danny Goki. Come on. Now the invisible bifocal, the progressive additional lens, 
progressive additional lens it's called a progressive because as you look down it progressively gets stronger and stronger almost like you're walking down the sh from the shallow end of a swimming pool to the deeper end as you walk and it gets deeper and deeper this gets stronger and stronger as you go deeper into the lens the Crizol Avancé sells for $99.99 it comes with a Crizol cleaning cloth of course I'm going to provide you one of my premium microfiber cleaning cloths as well and that comes to a total of $409.98 now, single vision, if you buy the frame for $160, you'll get clear single vision prescription lenses at no charge. That's all you're going to pay is $160. If you want transitions or my house anti-glare or the different Crizol anti-glares, you have that option. But I send out a selfie request in every package. Paul, I would love to have you send me your selfie to put on the website. I also send out cleaning instructions, not only to care for your frame and lenses so they'll last you for years, but for the premium microfiber cleaning cloth that I provide your Crizol cleaning cloth and to clean your case so it too will last you for years. No other seller does that on the internet, I am told. But thanks for watching. If you want to see more frames, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as freeprescriptionlenses.com. On Twitter as freerxlenses. If you need to email me like Paul did to ask if I could get him this frame, you can email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or simply click the contact me button on the website. That way you don't have to type as much. So Paul in Salt Lake City, Utah, thank you for the purchase of the Danny Goki Model 47. This is the 53 eye size in blue. And everyone else has seen how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. And let me know what you think would be a great name. I'm going to have one on this side and one on this side. There will be two crosses on each frame. So let me know what a good name would be. Let me, think, let me know if you think it's a good idea. Or, you know, be honest with me. If you think it's silly and no one's going to buy it, let me know. All the trolls out there, bring it. I'm not afraid. Of course, you will see this on the website. And I'm going to even try. I'm going to push the envelope. Let me know out there if anyone wants to wear these in prescription. I will give a deal on there for you to test drive it for me. To get out there and to see how well it really works. Again, to wear your faith. You will see more of these types of items on my website as I continue to grow personally, spiritually, physically, and around the waist, but I'm working on that one too. But again, thanks for watching, and now you've seen how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.